scenario, new customer workflow. With so many new customers, Cronus International has lost control over their new customer process. Data is being entered in a rush and is often inaccurate or information is missing. The wrong posting groups are being entered, causing trouble in accounts. Appropriate credit checking procedures are not being followed and the warehouse is not being informed so that they can set up the required shipping information. Let's take a look at the process flow diagram. It begins with checking some mandatory fields on the customer card, followed by attaching the credit application. The next three to-dos, various checks and setup, can all happen at the same time. Once they've com been completed, we can move on to the approve new customer and then the send engagement letter. Translating that into a Gillis workflow, when a new customer is set up, it will automatically trigger the new customer workflows. We'll take particular note of the first to do, check mandatory fields, and see how a Gillis workflow can do this automatically. Again, the second to do, attach credit application, we'll see how a Gillis workflow can help there by doing it automatically. We'll also look at the third and to do group, which is made up of the three to-dos together. And then it follows on. We'll also look at the field modification and see how Agila's workflow can automatically block the customer and automatically unblock the customer when the workflow is completed. A new customer has entered and it triggers the workflow. Let's take a look at the workflow and we can actually see already the first to do check mandatory fields has been completed. Now nobody has done anything to complete this itself. It's actually a field examination and based on the rules that we've set up as to which fields it should check and what the values are allowed to be, Aguila's workflow has done this check and everything is okay with the field set up on the customer card so it automatically completes that to-do and nobody in the business needs to worry about it. We'll also see with the second to-do, attach credit application, this time it's a document storage. But we've actually set up some rules around what the document name is. It's always the customer number and uh, followed by credit application. And we have also set up rules as to where it is stored. So as it automatically picked up that document, it's there and so again there's no problems with that. So both of those first two to-dos are completed automatically. The fields have been checked, the document has been stored. Moving on to the third part, the to-do group, which if we drill in there we can see is made up of the three to-dos. Each have a different team responsible for them and all of them are a now to-do because they can be worked on in parallel. So these to-dos will be forwarded off to the right teams and when they've completed their to-dos and all three are completed, it will then move on to the next to-do. We now return to the workflow and we can see at this point most of the workflow has been completed. It is now just the final last to-do send engagement letter that is open. If we look at the assigned to the customer card that this workflow is for, you will see that the customer is blocked. Nobody in the business had to remember to manually block the customer. Aguila's workflow did this automatically because that's part of our workflow rules. And you'll see when this workflow is completed by completing the last to do, which in this case is the document storage. We simply need to link the document to that and my to-do is completed. It now means that my workflow is completed. I'm going to return to the customer card and you will see the customer is now unblocked. Again, Agilis workflow automatically did that because that's part of our workflow rules. The result. Cronus International's new customer process is now running smoothly. Mandatory fields are not forgotten and each department is notified and can ensure setup is accurate. 
Peter Shadow is informed of new customers and you can see how automation has really helped the process.